Hi, in this video I would like to introduce you to the Network Devices widget. To launch this widget, simply click on the green icon here. Here, you can discover the connected devices of a network. In my example, I am currently using 2 GigaCloud 26i, one representing my FOH switch, the other one my state switch with a redundant link in between, a Ethernet DMX4 to convert hardnet coming from the hardnet console, in my case a Magic Q, and two LumiSplit splitters, one 2.10 where all my moving lights are connected to, and one 1 1.6 just for connectivity purpose. However, you cannot see the uh, LumiSplit into the network devices as they are discovered through the RDM panel. This will be covered into a separate video. For each device, an icon is represented next to each other with some different meaning for the colors. If you see a green icon, this is an ARTnet device. If you see a blue icon, this is a Luminex device and it's currently online and in the right IP range. If you see an orange icon, this is a Luminex device, but your computer is not in the same IP range as the device itself. And if you see a red icon, this means you have a connectivity, connectivity issue with the device. I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to open my network and disconnect some links. And suddenly, I have lost connection to the GigaCore 26 size and the Magic Q. If I reconnect the cable, the devices will come back online shortly. Here they are. So it is very important to look at the IP address you select at the launch of the software to be in the same IP range as the device you want to monitor and control. If you hover your mouse over each device, you will discover a quick image representing the device and if the device is known it will also be available for ARTnet devices. If you click on the small arrow next to each device you can expand the information related to the device. In my case here I've got an Ethernet DMX4 which offer 4 DMX port obviously with its current IP address. The green check mark means that the device is online and connected. I can see that universe 1, 2, 3 and 4 are set to the 4 outlets. I can see that because of the green ring, the device is currently receiving those universes. And as I see a blue arrow, this means RDM is also enabled on these outlets. If the arrow was in the other side, I mean pointing to the inter inner side of the circle, this will mean the outlet is set as an input. For each switch, I can have also a status of the IP address and the connectivity. A check mark also means that the device is online. Same for Luminet Monitor, you can see the IP address the software is currently using. If you right click on some devices, you can get access to some additional information. As an example, select the IP address of the Ethernet DMX4 right click and you can list the profiles the unit is currently using. From there you can select a profile and remove it if you want or you can select an empty slot and replace it with another profile. One of the good things about it is that you can select multiple Ethernet DMX converter and directly drag and drop a profile on all those selected converters and upload the same profile to all the same node at the same time. This is a mass upload uh, functionality which is very useful on la large scale installation. You can do exactly the same with firmware by selecting multiple devices at the same time and dragging and dropping the same firmware on all units. This will upgrade all devices at the same time. For the GigaCore 26i the same functionality is available. In my case, I can select 2 GigaCore 26i and 
I can grab a file directly onto the two devices. The software asks me what slot to use. I will use, in my example, slot 10. Done. The fixture have uploaded the same profile on both slot 10 for the two units. At the same time, if we want to double check, notice that if you are using Luminex product, you can directly click on the IP address of the device to reach its web interface. Double click on it and it will open automatically the interface. If I now go to profile, I can confirm that the mass upload profile has been uploaded onto slot 10. If you right click on the IP address of a GigaCore switch, you can also get access to the bandwidth monitoring. This is a very useful uh, feature when it comes to uh, uh, when you are using converged network and you want to double check the traffic per port. In my case, I'm going to use the generator to generate some traffic on the network. Now, if I right click on this 26i and click on bandwidth monitoring, I'll be able to see the, comp the actual configuration of the switch. So I can see the grouped isolation per port. In my case, those four ports are in the same group. I can see that on this port, the switch is currently receiving 60 megabits of data coming from the, the software. Rx means that the switch is currently receiving those data. Tx means that the switch is sending out those data. Per port, I can see the legend, if a legend is set. On the right top corner, I can see the temperature for, for the devices. The first one represents the fan controller. The second one represents the, the CPU temperature, the internal temperature. And the third one represents the phi temperature. And below, you can see the fan speed of all uh, the fans included into the switch. This is very useful when you want to make sure that all your fans are correctly working, especially when you're working with PoE. Per port, you can see the TX traffic and RX traffic. Thanks for watching.